Hi everyone! We have been asked by many of you to do a tutorial on how to access Overdrive, our new ebook and audiobook platform that has replaced Hoopla. Hoopla was loved by many but just wasn't sustainable in costs for the library. And so we got rid of Hoopla and we joined the Idaho Digital Consortium, which allows us to access Overdrive. And Overdrive has all um, ebooks and audiobooks that you can check out on your device, so your iPhone or your tablet, and you can read from home. When you access Overdrive through an app, you will go to your App Store or your Google Play Store, depending on whether you have an Android or uh, iPhone, and you have two choices. You can either download the Overdrive app, which is the older app that accesses Overdrive, or you can use their new app, which is Libby. That's the one we recommend. It's a lot more user-friendly. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store. It's in the bottom left corner there. And once you enter the App Store, you'll search for Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, and that's all you have to type in. Once that comes up, you will click into the app and it will have the option to get. Mine, I will just download from the cloud because I've had it before. Once that is done downloading, you'll have the option to open it. If you open that app, then it will ask you a few questions. First, it'll ask, do you have a library card? Hopefully you do. You can hit yes. Then it will ask you a few more questions about finding your library. We're going to choose that second option, search for a library, and we're going to search for the Idaho Digital Consortium. The Digital Consortium is a group of 39 libraries that are working together to provide these materials. Now it might say a different library like Stanley or Burley, like I said, 39 of us, but you want the Digital Consortium. Once you open that up, it will give you some options. We're going to choose that second one, choose another location, and you can scroll down to the Portniff Library, select it, and then it'll have you put in your card number. Once you put in that card number, it's just the 14 digits on the back of your card, no spaces, it'll ask for your PIN. That's the last four digits of the phone number you signed up for your card account with. It'll show you your card, you can hit next, and you're in. The first thing you can do when you get in is you can look, that little face in the upper right hand corner allows you to see your account, add other library cards, set, see the library cards you have. So if you have a different library who accesses Overdrive, you can add their card here. Or if you already have Overdrive, you can add our card there. Then you can go back to the main menu. In the middle there, you see the button that says explore on the right hand side. That allows you to look at all the different genres, areas. One that's really helpful is what's available. If you choose what's available, you can choose either audiobooks or ebooks or all titles. These are things you can borrow on Overdrive right now. So when you get in here, again on that middle bar, you can see preferences on the left hand side. If you hit preferences, it will allow you to look and see, do I want something in a different language? What content do I want? Do I want juvenile? Do I want mature content? Do I want young adult content? Do I care? We're going to stick with all for right now. There's a lot of different options there. Uh, you could change if you wanted a different format, if you wanted a different language, if you wanted different availability, and, and monitor those options right there. We're going to just stick with everything for right now and go down and see all that's available to us. As we scroll down, we can look at all of these titles that we can borrow right now. I might look down and say, oh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children looks good. So I'll click on the book. It'll bring me the record where it'll tell me a little bit about the book, show me that there's three in this series. We can scroll down a little more to see it's unabridged, it's about 10 hours, uh, who the narrator is. Some people are really picky about narrators and you can link to other things that they have read. Once you decide you would like it, you can hit borrow right there under the picture of the book. When you hit borrow, it'll show you your card. It shows right now I have one of my four available loans taken up. Once I borrow this, I'll have two checked out. You have four available loans and six available holds. Once it's checked out on your card, you'll have the ability, it's going to take a second, you'll have the availability to open the audiobook or to keep browsing. You can also go to shelf. Your shelf is going to show everything you have checked out. So right now you can see I have two audiobooks checked out. We can look at holds. I don't have any right now. Or you can choose to switch between books. So if you're reading a book and listening to an audiobook, that's where you'd go back and forth between the two. Hopefully this has answered all the questions you might have. If you have any more questions about it, feel free to message us on Facebook or our website.